Hi, my friends and family. It's so wonderful to know that God is a God of wisdom. He knows everything. He doesn't need your advice or my advice or your opinion or my opinion. He knows exactly what he is doing. And it was exactly like that when he decided to create marriage. He gave us marriage. He was the originator of marriage. And he did it exactly the way that he wants it to be. He said it will be one male, one female, and they will come together. How will it work? It's interesting if you go read there in Genesis 2 verse 22. He is responsible for bringing male and female together. In other words, if you ask yourself, hey, how do I know that I'm supposed to marry this guy or not? How do I know that he's the right person? To be honest with you, you won't know. If you rely on yourself, if you rely on your own thoughts, your own feelings, opinions of people, Scripture is very clear about, about it. We are not supposed to trust the flesh. So what do we do? We have to pray. We have to ask God. And you do not go into a marriage unless God is telling you to. Otherwise, stay out of it. There's no other reason big enough. Yeah, but she's very clever. I want to have clever kids. People, it's not going to make that marriage last. Yeah, but she's got a lovely body. People, it will change over time. It's not reason enough. Yeah, but he's got heaps of money. Ah, he can look after me, well after me. Yes, go for it. No, he can lose it overnight. How do you know that it's the right person to marry? You see, Karin, she went through a, a, a broken, she went through a broken engagement with another person and she was hurt in this whole process. And by the time I've asked her to marry me and she wasn't sure whether I'm the right person or not. Luckily, she communicated it and we talked about it. And eventually we've decided, no, we can't go on like this. We have to have clarity. Otherwise, how can we build on this relationship? You can't build this relationship if there's not absolute faith and surety. So we broke up our engagement. And for seven weeks... She did nothing else but fasting, praying. She ate sporadically from time to time, but most of the time she was on her knees. She went to see some of the duomini, some of the reverends, some of the pastors, some people asking for advice. But most of the time she was reading Bible, begging God to show her, God, I have to know, is this a guy for me or not? Seven weeks of this intensive grabbing of God's cloak. God, I cannot go on unless you tell me. She was at one of her friends, Elmery, there in Middleburg, South Africa. And while they prayed together and they were talking about this. And at one stage, just like that. The next moment, God spoke to her and she knew that she knew. Yes, it's God's will for us to be married. And the nice thing is that she was willing to stay on her own if it wasn't God's will. But the moment that she knew that it was his will, she phoned me from Elmery's home and say, hey, I now know God told me and I've been waiting for her along the way, halfway, when she was traveling, immediately packing her things and coming back to me because I knew 
that she was my wife. God told me, but God had to tell her. And I tell you, our marriage went through such deep waters. And I don't think, to be honest with you, I don't think I'm the easiest person on earth. But luckily, thanks to the fact that she knew, that she prayed it through, she knew she's in God's will to stay with me. And she still knows it. And we still know it. It's God's will for us to be together. I want the same for your marriage. Because there's nothing else. When the storms come. People. The only way that you can go through these storms. Is if you're doing it. By the power of the word of God. When he spoke. Yes you two are meant for each other. He did something. Nothing else. No human promises, nothing else can create that strength that God has created in our marriage relationship. All honor and all glory only to Him. Remember, the only way that you will know, yes, you have to go into this marriage, is to have you have to pray it through. Once in your life, pray like never before. And don't stop praying until you've got an answer. And I bless you. I bless your marriage. May God be with you. And may you hear His voice and help your kids. Even when, when you see marriage partners, the Holy Spirit will tell you. Yes, this is a person or not. And then you can pray about it. And if you think it's not the person, ask God to reveal it to your son, to your daughter. Whatever they do, just you keep on your knees and keep putting them in God's arms. And I bless you in His holy name.